Well, uh, my name is Warren Campbell. I am a songwriter and a music producer. And I've worked with a lot of different artists from, from R&B to hip hop to gospel to Yolanda Adams, Mary Mary, Kanye West, Snoop Dogg, to Luther Vandross. So it's kind of like we do a lot of different things, a lot of different genres. Really, I feel like the younger the kid, the better for uh, the development of uh, certain skills in the brain um, when it comes to just, you know, um, recognizing certain things like, you know, when, when the music is, is, a, is not just a training of the ear, it's a training of the mind. So it helps strengthen a, a, a mind. So a, a child. A child that, that is, you know, uh, interested in music or taking music lessons, for instance, is, is better at math. Because when I was seven, seven years old in the second grade, that's when we started doing fractions. And fractions was like the hardest thing in the world to me. Uh, I started taking piano lessons because I could already play, but I didn't know how to read. So they took me to a teacher and she started teaching me how to read. Now. I started knowing what uh, a quarter note was, a half note was, uh, time signatures, one fourth, three fourths, and, and by me knowing what that was, when I went back to school, fractions were easy all of a sudden. Math was easy all of a sudden. Hmm. So just the, for the development in, in a child's mind, music is very, very important. That's, that is probably one of the reasons why it was enforced uh, in, in earlier years, in you know, 60s, 70s it was mandatory to have music class. And by uh, them cutting it out of the schools, I think they're doing the children a really big disservice. I do believe since uh, the music has been taken out of the schools, or if it's not going to be uh, placed back in the schools, it's going to take organizations like the Choice Group to come in and fill those shoes. And I just, I just believe in uh, nurturing a child's dream or, or something that he has or, or a child's interest. And that's what schools used to do, and, and, and we don't have it no more. So you, you, we have to support uh, Choice Group and, and groups like it because we don't have it anymore. There's, there's, there's nobody there. Like when I, when, when I was growing up, my father uh, took interest in my interest. I was interested in music, so he bought me musical equipment. He made sure I practiced. And a lot of these kids don't have a father. I don't know, some of them don't have mothers and people that push them. So it's going to take, you know, people like Dana Hammond and, and the Choice Group to, to actually do that, you know, and to expose these kids to the studios and myself and, you know, different people in, in the music arena and to learn so they can kind of see there's something else outside of what they see normally in the streets and around the neighborhoods. And it's not just sports, you know, it's not just being a rapper or a singer, but there's so many other jobs they can be doing. They saw an engineer, they saw a lady that actually runs the studio who makes a career out of it and they see a producer. You know, so there's, there's other there's other things. And uh, and and Choice Group is definitely making that that those choices available and uh, making those choices known to these kids, which is extremely important. Come on, you gotta you gotta give her a yeah.